And we want to get to that major update. A 21 year old now charged with attempted murder after a shooting this weekend at Livingstone College. Salisbury police say this guy right here, Talib Kelly, who is not a Livingstone student, is also charged with discharging a firearm on educational property and possession of a firearm by a felon. WCNC Charlotte's Shamaria Morrison joining us live with more details from Salisbury. OK, so Shamaria, uh, as I mentioned, a felon. So it's not the first time there's been a run in uh, with the law for Kelly. Nope, it's not. You're right. So actually, we found out back in 2018, he was actually charged for manslaughter for a hit and run incident that happened here in Salisbury. He was 17 at the time then. So now he's facing separate charges for the incident that happened at Livingstone College over the weekend. Right now, Kelly is in the hospital, but police say they are looking for a suspect who may be involved with his injury sustained over the weekend. The Salisbury Police Department wants you to take a look at these still images closely. In this case, we urge you to private message the Salisbury, North Carolina Police Department. Police say they show people involved in the shooting that rocked Livingstone College and likely shot at this man, Talib Kelly. He was a victim that was shot and also identified as a shooter. The college's president, Anthony Davis, says they won't close their doors to the community because of the shooting. I think we've been in existence for 143 years, producing graduates who compete and contribute in the global society. That's our mission. When these incidents happen, they don't define who you are. Police say the community is safe, despite still looking for these suspects. So right now we are in front of the Salisbury Police Department and they said they want to make sure the community knows that they believe everyone is safe despite them still looking for suspects. And another thing of note, Kelly, he is still in the hospital and so is another victim. The police say at this moment, everyone has no life threatening injuries. Live in Salisbury, Shamaria Morrison, WCNC Charlotte. Shamaria, thanks so much for that report.